In this video, we're going to talk about PRP or platelet-rich plasma, what it is, why it might work, what injuries PRP might be especially useful for, in this case, rotator cuff tears. My name is Dr. David Geyer, double board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and media medical expert. I help you feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history. Now, please understand in this video, I'm not giving you medical advice. This is meant for general information and educational purposes only. Before we get into why PRP might be useful for rotator cuff tears, we have to discuss what PRP actually is. PRP is also known as platelet-rich plasma, and it's a concentration of platelets that comes from your whole blood. It's centrifuge to obtain a ready-to-use and ready-to-inject product. PRP works by releasing cytokines and growth factors like platelet-derived growth factor, platelet-derived endothelial growth factor, transforming growth factor beta-1, insulin-like growth factor-1, fibroblast growth factor-2, and vascular endothelial growth factor A. Now you don't really care about the names of those growth factors, but what I want you to understand is those growth factors enhance healing by stimulating cell proliferation, migration, and differentiation. They modulate the immune system, regulate inflammation, and help with angiogenesis, or the development of new blood vessels in the damaged tissues. And those growth factors are essential for the three phases of healing of injured tendons and ligaments, inflammation, proliferation, and remodeling. In theory, PRP allows for your own blood to provide a high concentration of growth factors to promote healing in sites that have limited healing capacity due to blood supply. PRP can create a matrix that serves as a scaffold for the sustained release of those growth factors that help bring in healing cells and new blood vessels that help deliver nutrients to improve healing. Now to understand why PRP may or may not be beneficial for a rotator cuff injury, we actually have to understand what rotator cuff injuries entail. And these can be strains, partial tears, or even complete tears of one or more of the four rotator cuff tendons. Rotator cuff injuries typically affect adults. In fact, youth, high school, and college athletes rarely have rotator cuff pathology as a primary problem. People in their 30s and early 40s rarely have a full thickness tear without a specific traumatic event such as a fall. Younger adults almost always have rotator cuff impingement, an overuse scenario without a full tear. But adults in their 50s and beyond can develop full thickness rotator cuff tears without a major injury. Partial thickness tears usually respond to rehab and non-surgical treatment, occasionally needing surgery. Full thickness tears are believed by most orthopedic surgeons to rarely improve without surgery to repair the tendon. Now let's look at what the recent scientific studies tell us about how effective PRP is for rotator cuff tears. A 2020 review of nine studies looking at PRP versus cortisone shots specifically for partial rotator cuff tears showed PRP was significantly better for pain and shoulder function in long-term follow-up compared to cortisone although only shoulder function was better for PRP in the first few months after the procedure. In a 2019 study, when researchers looked at rotator cuff tendinopathy, a form of shoulder impingement, PRP had much better outcomes at six months or longer after the injection than cortisone shots provided. And finally, a recent meta-analysis of 37 studies showed that patients with rotator cuff tears treated with PRP injections had significantly less pain compared with the control group. Now, one thing to understand about the research, there are many different methods of PRP preparation and different final products, PRP, leukocyte-rich PRP, platelet-rich fibrin, platelet gel, and more. All of these platelet products have varying concentrations of blood cells, plasma, and fibrinogen. Therefore, they have different concentrations of growth factors and bioactive molecules, meaning they could have very different effectiveness for different orthopedic injuries. The exact comp composition of PRP isn't reported in many of the studies in the scientific journals. There are differences between leukocyte-rich and leukocyte-poor PRP and so much more. Plus, humans have different numbers of platelets in our blood, so studies comparing PRP will lead to different results. Plus, other than the leukocyte content, research studies differ in terms of the volume of blood harvested, use of anticoagulant, the number and speed of centrifugations, the final volume of PRP, the number of platelets, the activation of platelets, and much more. All of these factors could influence the properties of the final PRP product and how well it helps with any injury like rotator cuff tears. Now, 
Whether or not PRP is covered by insurance is a big topic. Most insurance companies still consider PRP experimental and don't cover these treatments. Again, I'm not giving you medical advice. This information about platelet-rich plasma is intended for information and educational purposes only. But what can we make of all this? Well, based on these recent studies, platelet-rich plasma offers a benefit Although it may not be significant at the early follow-ups, like one to two months, it appears to exceed the benefits over time, especially compared to cortisone shots. For someone looking to avoid or delay surgery for a rotator cuff injury, it might be worthwhile to discuss PRP as a treatment option with your doctor or orthopedic surgeon. If you'd like to read the studies I mentioned in this video, I've provided links in the description below. If you like videos like this one and you want information about optimal health and wellness, healing and recovery from orthopedic injuries so you can feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history, subscribe to this channel. Click the bell to be notified of new videos and live streams. If you have a rotator cuff tear or some other injury and you want to see someone who truly knows about bone and joint injuries in athletes and active people, I'd be happy to help. I'm a double board certified orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist. I'd love to talk to you about all your options to recover from injury, not just surgery, cortisone shots, and physical therapy. Go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com. Go to the contact page to make an appointment to see me. The link to my website and the contact information is in the description below this video. My name's Dr. David Geyer. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to helping you feel and perform better than ever.